don't fall into this trap on eBay. This is something that could seriously cost you money every single time you do it. Hey, it's Don. Today I wanted to talk about an issue that I see happening quite a lot. Now, I look at a lot of stores across the board. A lot of people will come to me and they've got major issues. Their sales are way down. They're not making any money. And there's one philosophy I keep seeing over and over and over again, and that's people running 99-cent auctions thinking it's going to drum up a bunch of more business by drumming up a lot of interest and increasing the amount of bids. That's always the hope I hear everybody telling me. That doesn't seem to be the case in most of the stores that I looked at. I looked at one today. They sold an item for 99 cents. They listed a whole bunch of stuff thinking they were going to drum up a whole bunch of business. Up. They sold quite a few items at that price with no bidders other than the one that purchased the item. They did sell a few that did go for some okay money. Nothing spectacular at all. But going back and looking at the ones that actually sold for 99 cents because no one else but that one person was interested in it, they ended up losing on every single one of those. The first 99 cent item, the shipping was right at 10 bucks to ship that out. The buyer paid it. That's fine. The buyer paid the 10 bucks. There was also sales tax on the whole works. But the problem with that is that once you add in the fees that eBay collects, this was a media item. It was over 13%. So at the end of the day, it cost them over $1.50 to mail that to somebody out of their own pocket. So not only did they not make a dime on those items, they actually had to shell out money to mail those to somebody else. You've got to look at that aspect when you're doing those. The 99 cent auction days are long since gone for the most part. There's a few small, high priced, scarce, seldom seen items that will go for some insane monies, even with a 99 cent bid. But 99 plus percent of everything that I would list, I would never, ever, ever do that. I personally would never recommend listing something for less than you expect to get out of it. Your bottom end. So if I want 10 bucks out of something, I'm not going to list it for anything less than 10 bucks. It has done me extremely well by doing that because I don't have any issues. I'm always going to get that amount out of it. I'm also in no hurry to sell a specific item, so I don't care if it takes a little while for me to get that 10 bucks out of it. This all reminds me of the race to the bottom. People keep lowering the prices, trying to beat their competitors over and over and over and over again. In general, the vast majority of the time, you will do far better doing a bin with a higher price than you ever would doing some auctions. You can compare them yourself we're going to look at Terra Peak for just a minute here so you can see what I'm talking about here. All the information to determine what the best way to sell anything that you have is fully available on eBay through Terra Peak. Trying to figure out what option is best for any item you have is really easy with Terra Peak. You can just click a few buttons or look at the screen itself. Now we're here in my hub and we're in the research tab for Terapeak. Now you have to have a store of some sort to get Terapeak. I'm not sure which level of store it is included with, so you will need to dig into that. But the fee for the basic store, even if it's 10 or 15 bucks, this is worth it just for the information to be able to allow you to price things correctly. Now, 99 cent auctions are a done, long since thing of the past in my book. I've done them before, 10 plus years ago probably. But as the market has changed and people want all of their items pretty much immediately because of Amazon and some of the other approaches going on right now, those options just aren't as viable as they used to be. Now, we're looking at Terapeak. I've just typed in World's Fair. Now, you can sort this by fixed price or auction. You can figure out how many sold at any given point and what was the best means to sell them. You would just take the amount of total here of listings, which is 74,000, and then we can click on the auction button here and then search, and we'll see how many are in auctions that sold for that. And it's well less than half. Only 29,000 sold at auctions. Now, some of these are high dollar ones. As I said, some items would do better as an auction. This is a Lou Gehrig autograph. Obviously, something like that would be best in an auction. That's something rare as long as it's certified, which this one is. It's a good, legitimate sale. A lot of the other items, though, like items with only one bid, 
you could have just done that as a bin anyway. You didn't get any more than the opening bid on something like this. That's why I say if you put something up for 99 cents, that may be the only person at that given point that would be interested in that item. And 99 cents is all they had to pay because no one else bid against them. If you put it up as a bin, though, for a high amount, you have plenty of time for bunches of people to come in there and see that item and to be able to purchase it, even if it's making an offer or whatever the case may be. That is pretty much mostly the best option for almost everything that I sell. Not every single thing, but the majority of it. So if you're looking down here, any listing that has a number in the bid section is obviously an auction. Any one that has one, which there's quite a few here and there that have one in the amount of bids, they would have just been just as well off doing it as a bin. So when I look at these numbers, I judge in how many are one one offs, one bid. So this is even less than that amount. So it's really less than 29,000 when you consider those one bid listings, because that's all that was there. If they listed it for 99 cents and it sold, it's the same basic principle. Um, so anyway, that's the, the gist on this. It's almost always practical or better off for the majority of items, unless you've got the rarest of something around, a Lou Gehrig autograph, an Elvis autograph, or something just very, very well sought after a 99 cent auction, you really risk the chance of losing money. The fees are why, because you're paying eBay 13%. Just like I was saying in the beginning, a 99 cent item actually was costing $1.50, $1.56 in just fees, not counting any of your time, your shipping supplies, or what you paid for the item to begin with. Plus, you risk running a return on that 99 cent item, which could, could increase your amount even more. Or at the very least, you might have to refund it completely. So so that's the point on this. And when you refund something, you lose the shipping. I would honestly never recommend listing anything for less than you expect to get out of it. If I want 10 bucks out of something and that's the lowest I would go on that item, I'm never going to list it less than that 10 buck mark. One other thing too, when you're looking at this, as I said, if there's nothing in the bid column, obviously it is a bin, buy it now, or best offer. If you look through here, though, all the top ones, but one or two rare ones, and again, that's the Lou Gehrig, are bins. So not only is the percentage that sold as a bin, buy it now with best offer, much higher than those that went as an auction to begin with, but the majority of the ones that sold for high dollars are also bins. So if you do a bin versus a small, cheap auction, Auction, your chances of selling it are much higher. You also have a greater chance of your item selling for more than it would as an auction because the majority of the ones at the top, as I said, are bins. Buy it now or best offer. Most all of the categories that we sell in a bin far outweighs an auction, two to one in most cases. So you'll do far better as a bin in most vintage categories. Now, this is basically tied with managed payments because of how the fee structure works. So this has gotten to be sort of a trap for many people. I've looked at dozens and dozens of stores, and I have seen this all over the place. People listing stuff, 99 cents or 9.99 when the item's worth 40 or 50 bucks, and then not getting enough out of it. The fees to send it out, the fees that eBay assesses under managed payments are killing them. It's a trap that they're stuck in for some of these low-dollar items. The rule of thumb if I'm not going to make any money on something, I'm just not going to list it or sell it. I'll lump it together in a lot. I'll dump it in a box and take it down to the local live auction or something, but I'm surely not going to list it on eBay. If you're not making money on something on eBay, don't sell it. You don't need to be in business selling stuff that's not going to make you your profit back on it. You've got to also take into account your time that it took you to list the item, the time it took you to find the item, source it, ship it, and the whole works. Not only that, but you've got the investment to purchase the item. You probably have some sort of fees as well as we were talking about. You've got to take all of that into account when you're pricing things really low, trying to drum up a bunch of sales. So I've changed with how things are, and I would never recommend people doing the 99 cent auctions. I've seen the results of many people running these low budget sales and listings as an auction, and the majority of the ones that I have seen have lost a bunch of money on it. It hurt their overall store. It cost them time and money to ship these items out. Some of them came back, and it cost them even more money. It's not practical 
Google and all the evidence, all of the data on Terra Peak shows that that's not the way to do it anymore. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Air Control Machine comes complete as shown from Buddy L.